All right, guys, welcome to another episode of Kicking with Killian. This time we're making homemade sausage McGriddles. All right, so you need one third cup of flour. You're going to need one and a half teaspoons of sugar, one and a quarter teaspoons of baking powder, one eighth teaspoon of salt. And then you're going to need to separate one large egg in another bowl. And with that, you're going to also have one quarter cup of milk and like one tablespoon of oil and like a little splash of vanilla. Like not a whole bunch, literally just a little splash. And you're gonna wanna whisk this well. You're gonna pour and then you're gonna mix and whisk. This is very important. You want this to be smooth. I'm telling you, you're gonna want it to be smooth because I don't know anybody who likes that little chalky piece in somebody's homemade pancakes because that is low key disgusting. Um, so mix, mix. You see how long I'm mixing? You see how, how long I was taking? because you want it to be smooth. I'm telling you, if you don't want to you don't want nobody to be talking about your food. You don't want people talking about your food. Do you want it to be smooth? All right, and you're going to want to spray your pan with some pan. And to make my uh McGriddles, I use these right here, these mason jar rims. Uh, we're going to spray those down, make sure that the pancake batter doesn't stick to those. Place them upside down with the tops up. Um you're gonna pour the batter in. I would say go halfway. I did a little bit more than halfway. We're gonna make pour some honey in here, or you can do syrup. I mean, whichever one you want. You can do a design. I was gonna try to do a J, but then I was like, man, I gotta get to work because I was actually on my lunch break doing all of this. Um, so yeah, so you're gonna go and let that cook. As I said, you're gonna want to fill up about halfway up the rim if you're gonna use the baking powder and everything because these things rose like Jesus on the third day. I tell you, they rose. Um, and then I tried to flip them and it was kind of difficult to flip. So I had to go grab another spatula, um, kind of threw a little wrench and everything, but you know, it's not easy to flip it. Uh, it overflowed a little bit as you guys can see, but it is what it is. Flip and let it cook again. Let it cook, let it cook, let it cook. Now you're just going to want to try to give it another flip to make sure that the other side is done to your liking um you know you kind of gotta eyeball when pancakes are done in the middle especially whenever it's kind of when it's this thick so you know i finished those and then i did it all again so yeah watch this watch it get done all again The next thing you're going to do is you're going to want to make your meat. You can use bacon, you can use sausage, you can use whatever meat you want to use. I like to use sausage. Um, I get the Jimmy Dean one that's in the little uh, packet. Also, while you're doing your meat, go ahead and whisk up your eggs because why not? Save time, you know? You're kind of on a little time crunch, okay? So that's done. And so now we're going to keep on making this sausage. Um, you know, it's... I don't know. Does anyone else have trouble eyeballing when sausage is done? Because like it sometimes gets really, really dark on the outside and it don't be done on the inside. And I like my sausage to be like, okay, golden brown, like, like about like the brown of the one in the, on the left, but it got about this dark. So, um, cause I just didn't know when it was done and I just, I didn't want to eat no raw pork. Um, so immediately after you pull your sausage, you're gonna to wanna to pour your eggs. Cooks really fast, it's much easier. You already got some grease in the pan. Um, you know, fold whatever, fold whatever. Uh, I, this is how I cook my eggs when I'm making just like a full pan, almost omelet style. Um, honestly, on this video, it looks kind of trash. I'm not gonna to lie to you, but you know, do how you want. Uh, I could have used the same little mason jar molds. That would have been a really good idea. It would have been really smart, actually. Um, but I didn't. So I guess we got to live with this, right? <laughs> I mean, um, you're still looking at it. So 
Yeah, so that's that's that. Um, I flipped it, make sure it was done on both sides, uh, make sure it was really nice and brown. Then I put it on the plate, and then we gotta build the sandwiches. Uh, so I like my sausage to be on the bottom, and then I put my egg on the top. And then um, at the end, I realized I didn't really want the egg on the sandwich, and I ate the eggs by itself. But here goes a little uh, picture of what it looked like when I was done.